I'm going to highlight a few of the ways in which you can add alerting and monitoring to your own blog. Some of you have done these already, but um, most of you, I think, haven't. So I'm here at the uh, using the old version of the blogger interface, which I actually prefer. So that's what I'm going to use. And I've gone into design and then page elements. Um, so if you were somewhere else like posting, you'd click on design and then it pops up page elements. You want to add a gadget. And so first of all, I'm going to highlight, sort of scroll down this list. And first of all, I'm going to um, click on this one, add a content from an RSS or Atom feed to your blog. So I'm going to click the plus sign. And then it's asking me for a feed URL. Now, what you're looking for is something like this, where Karen Blakeman, she's got a really good blog and um, I want to get an RSS feed. Now you'll see that there's the same little sign that you had in the uh, blogger blog indicating that this is what you want. So uh, you can click there and at the top, I'm afraid it's, it's off the screen, uh, you copy the web address and it should end something like feed and you'll see that it looks a slightly odd layout. If I go back to blogger and find the pop-up, if I click that in, this is what was in the web address bar after I clicked that icon. I'll click continue. It's found the feed, it's found the title and now you can say how many items you want to display, say so four, and you can include things like item dates, authors, I won't bother with that because they're all by Karen, um, and you can have them open a link in a new window and then I'll save. The thing that you want to do now is probably reposition this somewhere else in your blog. I'm going to put Karen's underneath Phil Brabley's web blog and then I'm going to save. And now if I view the blog and scroll down underneath all your team blogs there's Phil Bradley's web blog and now there's the feed from Karen Blakeman's blog where you've got the latest few items. Just to go to design again and one of the other gadgets that I'll highlight is just putting in a set of uh, blog li lists or you can put them as links but if you put them as blogs, click a link again and I'll go to find another blog. I'll do it for Karen's blog again but this time I don't want the feed. I want to uh, go back and this time I want the ordinary web address of her blog. Obviously, you wouldn't normally put the same blog on in two different ways. So I'll add a blog to my list. Add that. That's her web address, her blog. Um, and then I'll, I'll change this to perhaps searching blogs. That's the title to read. I want the most recently updated at the top, showing all the blogs, and then I'll save. Again, I'll put that to the bottom of the list. I'll save it and just view the blog. And now if I scroll down again underneath there, it's got a link with a link directly to her blog, the home page, and then a link to the most recent item on the blog. You can see, of course, that that's the same as what's up there, but that's a slightly different way of doing it. You just you have a link to the main blog and then just the most recent entry.